You're listening to the Telltale Channel. Don't forget to check me out on all social media, Patreon, Twitter, Teespring, and Etsy. All links can be found in the description or on my website, telltaleatheist.com. Hey, this is Owen. If you're comfortable, leave your first name and state at the sound of the tiny truck backing up. Hi, Owen. This is Sam. As a young, college-educated, career-driven woman who does not want children or a traditional family, how would a group like Jehovah's Witness try to get me to join their religion? I know they're against college education and expect women to raise children and be traditional wives, so what tactics would they use to try to convince me to give up the lifestyle I'm currently living to join their religion? I know in general, most religions are patriarchal misogynistic, so in general, what kind of tactics do they use to appeal to women who they know will be oppressed once they join the religion? Thank you so much. Bye. Very interesting question. I'll tell you what they would probably do. They would probably, uh, after learning that about you, they would find some aspect of your life that they feel would be enhanced by being a part of the religion. Or they'd find some aspect of your life that they could respect. Like, for example, do you like to paint? They would talk about how God created us to love the things around us, love the landscapes and love the beautiful parts of nature. And you painting is a reflection of that love. So they would pick something out that they know would appeal to you and they would ride that home until you became so engrossed in the religion that you were willing to give up one thing here or there. They would kind of slowly work it in, inch by inch. They would kind of say, well, you know, Jehovah really loves a wife who respects her husband. And if you, if that left a bad taste in your mouth, they'd say, well, Jehovah wants the husband to love the wife too. It's a mutual respect. It's equality. You're equals. In reality, um, they'll, they will say that they're equals, but men have roles and women have roles in the religion. They will come at it from a perspective that they think will appeal to you, and then they'll slip the rest in under the radar.